All right, guys. I think my comp my whole recording failed on me, which kind of sucks because I did get somewhere. So when we got off the train, um, basically what happened is also if you hear a little bit of background noise, it's my AC because it is summer and it is very hot. So I need AC or I'm gonna die. Anyways, um, basically what I got from that is it said. I was reading the wrong thing. I was reading the to-do list and not the journal piece. So I read the journal piece and it said something about knowledge is the key. What's knowledge? School. So yes. And then um, I went to the school and then um, we went there. They told us a little bit about the history. I got another journal piece, which I will read to you guys, which would be journal piece number two. And this is it. Day five. The houses are coming along quite well. At the rate we're going, we should be ready. F we should be ready for winter in no time. Birchton still is grumbling about settling here, but everyone else seems all right. Hmm. I just don't understand. Anyhow, Peyton, our temporary convenience store owner, is drawing up plans for the town. Hopefully, everyone can agree on the placement of everything. So we went to uh, we went to Peyton, who was in here at the general store. She told us a little bit more about how she drew plans and stuff like that. We actually got the plans right here. And then we got the Torn Piece Journal 3, which told us this. Day 30. The town is starting to take shape. We have a school, general store, and homes for all. Burston is still causing trouble. Every day he heads off into the woods and returns more angry than when he left. I'm starting to think he's up to something. I think I'll go chop up some more wood. The lumberjack is almost complete. Maybe I can casually check up on Birchton while I'm out. Clarence Spruton. So once I figured that out, I thought about going here to the lumber yard. And I just got out of here. Basically, he said, um, go get me 64 planks and I'll answer your questions, basically. And he said, uh, I, he said, thanks for the help. Now here's your reward. Here's an old axe that belonged to Clarence Bruton, the founder of our town. You are welcome to hold on to us as long as you have it back before you leave. But they have nothing like that in the museum of yours. I said, thank you. Say, does this axe ha happen to have a story with it? And, the, and he says, well, yes, if you look underneath that dust, blah, blah, blah. So this is Spruton's axe. And now we're going to go look at this piece journal thing. Hopefully, I cleared that up for you guys. You didn't miss much. Maybe about just 10 minutes of gameplay. Maybe even 5. So, yeah. Also, I cleared out my inventory. That was basically it. Alright. So, now let's do this. Day 50. Finally, the town is near completion. To think just mere months ago, we left home to start anew out here. However, I fear I may have chosen an area that is not as quiet as it seems. I continue to keep an eye on Birchton ever since I caught him hiding supplies out in the woods and digging his own tunnels. I have become concerned that he is hiding something, but when I went to his tunnel, there was nothing. Something's not right here. If he is digging, he is going to need a lot of tools. Better keep an eye on the blacksmith shop to make sure nothing goes missing. Clarence Spruton well then, uh, so Birchton is stealing things. He's making tunnels. And you know what? Let's talk to the blacksmith. Hey. Hello again. I don't know if you heard, but while I'm here, I thought I'd get some information about the town's history to take back to the museum I work for. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I do have some stuff stored away from my great-great-great-great-grandfather. If you help me fill out these last five orders, I can go get the stuff. Okay, not a problem. Good. So the orders are just in the order, are in the order bin over there, and here are the supplies. Just put the tools in that bin by the furnaces in order, and forms back in the chest. Wait, put that, put the tools in the bin by the furnaces, and the order forms back in the chest. First one. Well, let's just do all this real quick. Okay. Um, let's uh, actually burn this stuff first. We have a order form for a stone sword. A stone shovel. We can do the stone shovel real quick. Done. Iron pickaxe. Stone sword. Okay, we can do a stone sword real quick. Okay, stone sword. Stone axe. Alright, and then an iron axe. So we don't have anything more, I believe. Okay, uh, stone sword, correct? Iron axe. Nope, okay. Wrong crafting recipes, people. Iron axe. 
an iron pickaxe, but we don't have enough wood. Okay, and now we have an iron pickaxe. Done! Bum, 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 bum. Ah! What happened to me? Where am I? What happened? You were in the doc. You're in the doctor's office. I'm Doctor Samson Appleton. That was some hit you took there. What exactly happened? All I remember, I was making these tools for a blacksmith. Then an arrow. You were hit by an arrow. The blacksmith brought you here. There was a note attached to the arrow. Here. Well, you're free to go. The blacksmith wants to see you as well as the mayor. Take care. Stop or pay the price. No. Scary. Oh, I don't like scary notes. I'm not good with that stuff. Okay, the mayor and the blacksmith, so I'm guessing they'd be in the mayor. You can't stop the law. The law is unstoppable. Alright, I'm guessing the blacksmith I'm guessing they're in the mayor. They're in the mayor's thing, right? Hey mayor! Do I not see you first? Okay, I guess I go see the blacksmith first. Ba 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 ba. Hopefully I didn't give you too much of a scare, blacksmith. How are you holding up? Well, I'm glad to see you're all right. Did you happen to see who hit me? Unfortunately, no, but I did get the stuff I wanted to show you, if you still want it. Yes, please. All right, here's the anvil, my great-great-great-grandfather. You could hang on, to, you hang on to it until you leave. If you haven't seen the mayor, I would go talk to him. Alrighty then, here, you can have your stuff back. I really don't want it. Let's go talk to the mayor and see if he has any leads or anything like that. Hey, mayor! Hello there, how are you? I'm feeling better, thank you. I'm very sorry for what happened. I'm looking into it as we speak. Uh, you saw the note then? Yes, but unfortunately I cannot seem to figure out whose writing it was. Ah, well, my little museum thing is going well. I keep finding these journals written by uh, Clarence Spruton. The Clarence Spruton? And Birchton. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, they were the friends, but Birchton sort of well. There is a reason the town is named Spruton. If you go in, in that room over there in the chest... If you go in that room over there in the chest is a journal. It'll explain some things. I gotta go. Okay, you're getting a little... A little suspicious. Awesome. Wait, is there any more? I just checked, like... Okay, no. Alright, so, six. Day 80. Well, Birchton is in jail. I caught him stealing tools from the blacksmith and discovered what he was up to. Apparently, he was... Really? Really? Well, let's go to jail! There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something in the jail for me. Unless... Okay, so, what do I do now? So, we have Journal 6. Apparently, he was blank. Okay. Bershin is in jail. I caught him stealing tools from the blacksmith. Hey, you're still here. Do you have the key to the jail? Yes, here. Don't let anyone see you. Ah, uh, well, that's kind of impossible, but hey. Oh, actually, there's, like, no one. Awesome. Jail cell key. Okay, there's something down here. My key. Turn. Ha ha! Getting a little woohoo! Okay, torn piece of journal 7. Day 7 in jail. I can't believe Spiritum would wrap me out like that. Thankfully, he never figured out how to get into my mine shaft. I may never get out of here, but he will suffer. My ancestors will find the clues. They will get my treasure, and he will have to live with the knowledge that he threw his own brother and in law in jail brother-in-law to think the key is my treasure to think the key to my treasure is in the hands of everyone else's treasures lucky i had that barn built to hide at least one other piece to my puzzle someone is coming but my key to think to think the key to my treasure is in the hands of everyone else's treasures what does that mean? 
Hello, can I get out, please? Can I, can I get out, please? Hello! I wonder. Do I need to, like, put this back? Oh, there's a button, okay. He said something about the barn, so let's go check out the barn real quick. It might be that feather that I saw in the first, the first time I went to the barn. It might be the feather. If it is, then hi! Hello, I'm just going back into your barn. Don't mind me. All right, let's see. Ah! Ah! God, that scared me! <laughs> Plastic egg. Torn piece of journal eight. Day 100. It's sad to come out to the barn. I keep thinking of Birchton. My sister understands why I had to do it, but still. The inn has opened up. It'll be successful, I just know it. Especially with the good food that Hopesons make. I go to the Hopesons now? I go back to the inn, basically? Hopefully that's it. Alright, so his sister was kind of forgiving a little bit, but still not. So it's like a family rivalry going on. Maybe it's someone related to Birchton, because he said that my ancestors will find this. And if he's doing that, then hi! Okay, so no, you're not... Let's see, um, where would I go now? Hi. No, okay. Then let's see. It's sad to come out to the barn. I keep thinking of Birchton. My sister understands why I had to do it, but still, the inn has opened up. It'll be successful. I just know it, especially with the great food the Hopesons make. There's like, it's not loading. Why aren't you loading? There we go. It, sa it says about the inn, but... The Tomlinsons aren't the Hudsons or whatever. Whatever they were. Okay. The, why are you... Oh, I can go in here! Why, why aren't you leaving me, though? No, can I, can I please go in? It's... Yes! Oh! Hello there. I'm Mr. Tomlinson. My wife told me about you. Are you here to look for artifacts right about in your museum? Well, yes. Well, I'll let you take a look at the stuff we have, if you help me. My wife wants to bring some food to our neighbors if you help me make it. I can get the items for you. Sure, what do you need to make? I need five cooked chicken, one beet rot stew, one mushroom stew, five cookies, and a pumpkin pie. Just put them in the chest over here when you're done. What? Five cooked chicken, one beet rot stew, one mushroom stew, five cookies, and a pumpkin pie. Well then, great. Now I have to figure out how to cook these things again. There's actually beet rots? I didn't know about this. Okay. Well, um, one beet rot stew and then one mushroom stew. I'll get those done first. Um, if I remember, this is how you do it. Aha. And then I don't know how you do a beet rot stew. How do you do a beet rot stew? I never used beet rot before. How do you do it? Do you like, and then put mushrooms with it? How do you make a beet rot stew? This is new to me. I've never seen a beet rot stew before. So hang on, I'm gonna look up the recipe. Okay, it says it's easy to make. I just, okay, so you take it like this. At least it, that's what I saw in the photos. And then you go like this. Holy crap, beet rot stew. What is this from? I've never heard of beet rot stew in Minecraft. Ever. Maybe it's because I haven't played a lot of survival lately. I should probably do that. Okay, so neighbors. Okay, and now I need... What? What is that? A broken axle. Oh, that's from the thing. Okay. And now I need one vibed cooked chicken. God. Okay. Um. Cooked chicken, where are you? Do I have to go kill some chicken? Because I kind of don't really want to do that. Pumpkin pie. Let's see if I know how to do this. Sugar, pumpkin, and wheat. Let's see if I can do this. Um, wheat, pumpkin, sugar? No. Okay, hang on. Pumpkin pie Minecraft. 
Oh, so you don't even need wheat. Okay, that was stupid. What the heck, people? So I know you, I need to go get some eggs then. You guys hurry up and grow up. Oh, God. You know what? Whatever. I'll stay out all night and tend to these chickens. Okay. I came back in here to do something. And I accidentally pressed this. And <laughs> I didn't see that they had their own chicken in there. <laughs> I was gonna kill those chickens. Do you know I was gonna kill those chickens, people? Okay. Five cooked chicken, one beet rot, one stew, one cookie, and a pumpkin pie. I still need an egg, though. Do they have eggs in this? Yes, they have an egg. Awesome. Sugar. Sugar and spice makes everything nice. Do they not have sh Oh, they have sugar cane. That's basically the same thing. Aha! Pumpkin pie! And now I need six chickens, so hurry up. Let me put this crap back there, because I don't want that. Actually, I took the sugar. I didn't need to make... Okay, whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Alright. Um. Six chicken. There you go. That should be everything. All done then? Well, if you look behind the grate above the ovens, you will find a chest with some cool stuff. Right here? Ah! What in the world was that? Sounds like an explosion from the mine, but they don't use TNT in the mine. You better go check it out and make sure that everyone's alright. 